Hey, what's up? How you doing today? Check out this old uh, Westinghouse classic old school fan. Uh, I think it's from as far back as the 60s, maybe 50s or something like that. Um, had to replace the motor on this one. The original motor is toast. Uh, it's uh, the original motor is really better than the brand new Chinese motor I put on it because it had at least two or three speeds and it fit that's important but just for reference in case you need to uh, scrounge and find another one of those or whatever here's the info on it it's a Westinghouse model uh, AFM 17 PC1 115 volt 60 cycle 3 amp made in USA, 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 um, and the the new Chinese motor I got is very close and similar to it. Uh, and I'll here's the info on it. If you need to order one or whatever, it's a clockwise rotation rising electric. If you can get a counterclockwise, that would really be better. But I made this one work. Model number D O W. 136-0-40RE-1-inch or something, dash C. I don't know why it looked like an inch, because it's a half inch shaft. Or 12.7 millimeter, whatever. Uh, yeah. Half inch is 12.7 millimeter. Um, of course, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 4 amp. 1050 RPM. Which at first I thought that was going to be too slow, but it pushes pretty good air. I don't know what this means. Customer part number, PRE 4004.5. Thermal cutoff Y2, whatever that means. Thermal protected ATR over... Oh, can't read my own handwriting. It's air over motor. Made in China in February of this year. So I guess you can order those. I don't know how much it, it costs, but this one was $68.71 total with tax and all. And here's where I got it here in Nastyville, Tennessee. Allied Electric Motor, 3rd Avenue South, 615-259-3892. Be sure and ask for J.T. Whitehead and bug him. Largest selection of motors since 1959. Um... But here's what you got to do. It the bolt pattern almost lines up perfect on these. But I started out, I drilled them out a little, and that got it close. Like two of them will fit, and the other two will be off. So really, they need to be oval shaped, kind of like a piece of unistrut, except a lot smaller. Maybe more like this den rail for electrical stuff. But uh, I didn't even uh, drill it out to a quarter inch. It was like I stopped short of a quarter inch. Let's see what I used here. Bear with One moment. I stopped it. I don't think I went any bigger than 732nd or what is that? 564th? Yeah. Uh, I felt like if I kept drilling out, it was going to defeat the purpose. They really need to be like oval shaped. So you can use a Dremel, or I wind up using this booger right here which is carbide it's an air tool I, I could have used a dremel but we didn't have we're low on dremel tool selection so that's what i used that worked fine i probably didn't even have to drill it out as much as i did but it matches up pretty well so that's what you gotta do and uh i guess that's about it um only other minor modifications i did was i I popped a few holes in this bracket here for running the wiring, new wiring. Of course, it wasn't grounded naturally when I got it. Of course, the motor wouldn't even run. But but it wasn't grounded. And this whole thing's steel, as you can see. And uh, so now it's grounded. A little safer. And uh, you may notice it's technically it's running backwards, but it'll still blow some air.
corpse on the cat. I don't think she liked that. But I think that's about it. Let's see. Mm, come on, turn. So I use the uh, oops, use the original switch, and uh, yeah, put this. This is just that just uh, emblem just uh, crimps over that. I swap that because technically it's running backwards, but uh, anyway, it should last a good while. It's a brand new motor. That's a, that's a true inductive brushless motor. And they usually use these on attic fans. That's what their main purpose is. And, uh, yeah, it goes clockwise. It really needs to be going counterclockwise, but it works. So anyway, have a good day. Keep uh, rocking with docking.